real quick video on the mandolin cheat code. If you're kind of new uh, and or not the fastest learner like me, and you just want to go to a jam and have fun and um, just let it let it, let it loose and play uh, you know these a lot of these three chord bluegrass songs are so great. Um, they have simple melodies. This is a you know a great little tool for you. You know, um, it's not the most technical or advanced thing, but I mean, you know, I've been probably playing for six months. I use it all the time and it's so great, so versatile. It's super, super easy. And, you know, most of these songs, at least the jams that I like to go to, um, where they just play kind of the standards and stuff, they're all right there and right on your fingers. <clears throat> so uh, let me show it to you and I'll just give you a couple examples and a little bit of theory. And this is, there, you know, this isn't mine. Somebody showed it to me, this to me, but I, I've seen some videos here and there touching on it, but I can't find a kind of a concise video that just sort of gives you what I think is helpful, how I think about it and not, you know, but um, anyway, um, it's basically, uh, basically eight notes <clears throat> and um, with some room for extension and I'll, and I'll walk them to you. I'm gonna use D as an example, but it really can be anywhere. Uh, the cool thing about it is whatever the root note is of the song, uh, like 99% of the time the melody ends on it, or it's, you know, it's a key of D, gonna end on a D note 99% of the time. Uh, that's where your index finger is gonna <clears throat> go, basically. Index finger will move a little bit uh, at, at times, but anyway, this is gonna be the one, the first, your, in, your index finger will live here a lot. So. Um, it's these three, it's the three after that one, then the string uh, closer to the ground, same three, so one, two, three. This is the sixth degree of a scale, or fifth degree if you if you know that. So the major scale, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to one. Um, but um, really we're just kind of using those, and these two below. So, so that's a fifth below, this is a fifth above. Okay, that's an octave, so uh, whatever note this is, A, this is an A. This is a five fifth, I'm on the second string, sixth, seventh fret, five, and the sixth, that B. Those are our eight notes. So it's a five, six, one, two, three, five, six, and seven, which I really don't use that hardly ever, I don't think, sometimes. But anyway, that's the scale, or that's the shape, I guess. So if you wanna just practice that, get that in your fingers, just um, however. Just kind of make up little things. Just so you get it. And then um, I'm gonna show you how a lot of these songs are right in here. Um, will circle be unbroken? You know, you'll you'll figure out if you're not already. I mean, this is this is for maybe not the person who wants to jam. Um, so you know, obviously there's a lot of very very good little players out there. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, I am not one of them, but I do love going to jams and playing and, and be, participate. So if you're, um, you know, maybe this is for you. Um, but almost every song starts, I mean, pretty much every song starts on the fifth of the scale, the one, or the third. It could start on the fifth above, meaning it's a higher note than the song ends on, like um, on and on, it starts uh, kind of high. Um, but, uh, a lot of them start on the fifth below. I mean, so many of them, like, uh, will circle me unbroken. broken. 
Um, lost all my money with a $2 beer. Um, I saw the light, I think. Um, and on and on and on. So, or not on and on. <laughs> a lot of songs do. Uh, Okay, I was trying to think of one that starts on the one. Uh, I guess uh, Blue Ridge Cabin Home does. If somebody called it in D, you could play right along. Hear it in there? It's all right. Lots of songs in there. Now, um, <clears throat> Uh, you will come across the need for a four, the fourth degree, um, sometimes, like, and say, like, bury me beneath the willow, um, and my pinky is kind of short, or it is short, not kind of, so I don't tend to use it very well, um, but, so I might slide into that if I need it, or I might try to, try to use my pinky, but something like that would be like, um, So you need it there. And obviously there's lots of times where, you know, that's there. But for the most part, I mean, I mean, you could even ignore. Nobody's gonna be mad <laughs> if you just wanna keep it easy. Um, so um, hopefully you got, okay, you see where a lot of these melodies are just really easily accessible there. And like I said, it's movable anywhere, obviously. So that's D. Uh, let's say somebody called something in, um, um, B, all right, B's a tough key, uh, for, um, I don't know, for me, but, but I know, like, you know, I use these little mile, like, little guideposts, I don't necessarily know that's a B right off the hand, I'm gonna do, but I kind of think, do I need a B, let me find an A, because I like to know where all the A's are, A's important, so A, go up two frets, B. I know that's an A too, and I could do it there too. So I could do the solo right there, that's a B. Um, or here, you know, B there. Uh, all right, anyway, you get the point. It could go anywhere and there's all, all 12 of the notes. Or however they are. Are they 12? I don't even know. That's how bad I am. But, uh, a, yeah, I think there are. Okay. Yeah, there's 12. Duh. Um, they're all in a spot where you, you know, you need, you basically need at least three strings to make this work. <clears throat> so there's, they're, they're there. Um, you can do these, you can do up high if you want something a little different. Um, what do I do that in? D, um, say like somebody was doing do it in uh, <clears throat> uh, G, um, you know, this is like this is my A string and these double dots is the octave, so I can go down, I know there's a G right there, so. Oops, but anyway, that's the point on that. Um, so it's movable. The next point I want to make is something really cool. Um, so uh, uh, yes, you can you can get a little more fancy. You can do little slides, you know. And but uh, another thing is that there's so many accessible double stops, and that's when you're playing two strings at once. To really make the mandolin sound fuller and richer and all that and they're um really uh <clears throat> lots of them in here uh to give you a quick music theory tour so we're back on d and a, a fifth below um the root chord so like d and scale of d is going to be your one three five notes so there's our five one pick any of those two and you can make a double stop to make the same chord so this five, five below and the one will form as a, 
a double stop over your over a D chord or the one chord in this key. Um, and mandolins are tuned in fifths, so anytime you go up or down to the floor, up in pitch, you're up a fifth. Your five chord, <clears throat> which is an A. So there's an A, and then of course, um, your five, your fifth is just a whole step away from your fourth. So there's a four chord if you need it right there. One, one four five one one four. Uh, if you need it there's also a little bit different but um you take your six and your one those are parts of your uh four chord um which um is comprised of uh four fourth degree six degree and one um, but I'm not really, get, you know, I don't really get them up there. I can get the six and the one to make a four chord double stop. So we are playing like, um, uh, some a quick four chord. Uh, it's in there somewhere. I have to hear it. Uh, but there's a four chord there. And then and the same thing, you move anything up, you can slide up to get a five. Uh, so they're, they're in there pretty accessible. Um, and then also there's another one chord that's pretty easy to get to. And it'll be like uh, three, one, two, three, five. The 35. Is right there so that's kind of nice so something in like uh blues cabin home so that that five chord you could do i mean sorry one chord is in there too all right so anyway a lot of mileage out of that it also works on um <clears throat> works great if you learn this then you you know it'll it really maps really well up here in the open strings area you just pretend like um you can't really get down to that four chord down here but like you pretend that your fingers on you know the nuts so even though it's doing that d right there uh you know there's a d string i'll just pretend like my fingers there and then here's my fifth below The beauty of this now is, you know, you just kind of, now the the four chord, the four chord, the four degree becomes very easy because, because you got, or I do, three nice fingers, three very usable fingers to, to get that. And then, then if we're thinking back here on, on say, I'm, I'm, say I move this concept to this A, and I'm in a key of A, five, six, one, two, um, five, six, one, three, ah, five, six, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna add that. Five, six. Well, four and a six, like I said earlier, will be part of four chords. So you, you kind of have that four chord, four double stop there. And, and so forth. And, um, and even that... Remember on the D when we went uh, um, 35? It's also here on this uh, on this A string. So one, two, three, and then five. So you got a double stop there. So anyway, the mileage, mileage, mileage. Um, 
lot of this. So <clears throat> that and then chopping over chords, <laughs> that's pretty much all I do. And I have a ton of fun uh, and I can participate. Uh, so anyway, have fun.